Martin and Mario. How are you doing today? This is Justin Castillo and Kylie Valera. Please write to the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. I will graduate from high school equipped to excel in the college career of my choice, dominate 21st century skills in leadership, knowledge, language, and technology to complete in a global economy and serve as a successful citizen in my community. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Thank you. You may now be seated. Hey everyone, we hope you enjoyed your time off. Your report cards are official and we are now in the fifth six weeks. Didn't we tell you that time would fly by? Don't forget that Telpus testing starts today. It will continue all week and into next week. For today, the LRC will be closed and it will be closed here and there for testing. Also, we want to let you all know that the announcements will be on and off over the testing dates. Our main director, writer, and editor will be helping out with the testing, and because a lot of a lot goes into the process, we won't be coming to you every day. We apologize in advance. Stay tuned to the AIMDH website. A pop up with a link will be there if there are in, if there are announcements. <laughs> February 20th, 1962. You got speed, John Glenn. Two, one, zero. Roger, the clock is operating. We're underway. Astronaut John Glenn becomes the first American to orbit the Earth, lifting off aboard the Mercury space capsule Friendship 7. 2003. A fire during a nightclub concert in West Warwick, Rhode Island, kills 100 people and injures about 200 others. Pyrotechnics for the rock band Great White sparked the fire, igniting flammable foam lining the club's walls and ceiling. The club's owners and the band's former tour manager later plead guilty to involuntary manslaughter charges. 1927. They call me Mr. Tibbs. Actor Sidney Poitier, whose roles include In the Heat of the Night and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, is born in Miami. And 1998. When I stepped on the ice, I had a feeling like, you know, I knew what the Olympics was about. I had that feeling of just, like, pure joy. American Tara Lipinski becomes the youngest gold medalist in the Winter Olympics. The 15-year-old clinches that honor when she wins the ladies' figure skating title in Nagano, Japan. Today in history, February 20th, Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press. A Hollywood A-lister, Christian Bale. If you don't know who that is, he played Batman. Well, he has started a professional passion project. He has broken ground on children's foster care village in... Palmdale, California, which is north of Los Angeles. The nonprofit has started and is called Together California and is a foster care village is designed so that your siblings can stay together. It will have 12 three-bedroom townhomes, which can house six children each, while a full-time foster parent will provide care and support. It was after the birth of Bale's daughter that he decided that there are too many children in need, especially in California, which has the largest number of foster kids in the country. We can't wait for this project to be completed. In the words of Rosa Parks, you must never be fearful about what you are doing when it is right. Sometimes the right thing to do is the hardest thing to do. Going against the grain can be terrifying, but you need to march to the beat of your own drum. This is Dawson Castillo and Kylie Barrera signing off. Have a great day.